Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to what I think is weekly vlog number nine. I think that's where we're at. Um, what I've done is, I've mentioned it in the other vlog, I used to have a ton of memory cards and in the move, I don't really know where all of them are, so I have one. Um, because my Sony camera takes, it's a dual card camera, so I have one special memory card which to shoot video on, um, which I wouldn't use in this camera, and then another memory card which I use for photos, so I can keep them both separate. I've been having to use the photo card um, in this camera, because I can't find any other memory cards. Um, but what I've done is I've went and got the one out of the GoPro, because it's really awkward just using one memory card, and before I can start this vlog, I've got to get all the footage back on the computer so I can before I wipe the card. So now I've took um, this memory card out and I've used the GoPro memory card in here with an adapter. So now I've got a, like a two card system, it should be a lot more easier. But I'm gonna try and get editing today, but it's just so I can start the vlog earlier rather than later. Um, I am really tired this morning. I went to bed about midnight. So you know what that means? In the TFG house, we always start with a coffee. But now I've got too much choice. What do I go for? Meeny, meeny, meeny more. Coffee, not that here. Look what we've just got. A parcel from Maple in Whiskey. Oh, I've been really excited for these. Oh, these are the first ones we have with the new labels as well. So we went for Spaceship Earth, which is my absolute favourite. Adventure is out there from Up, which is grape scented. And we went for Polynesian to try. Um, because we want like a fresh smell in the bedroom. So if we like this one, we are going to get it for the bedroom in a reed diffuser. So it's going to be a hard choice on which one we're going to burn first tonight. Um, I think I'll let Becca pick as well because she hasn't smelt the other scents either. Um, but all three are absolutely amazing. Um, the Polynesian one does smell like the Polynesian, which is really, really cool. So I think we might grab that one for the bedroom. Um, I just want to say as well, these weren't gifted. We, we have worked with Maple and Whiskey before. Um, but we still do buy from Maple and Whiskey. We love supporting them. We love all the work that they do. Um, so these ones we bought. I think they, there was an offer on for Valentine's Day. So I think we got like three pound off or something. And um, so I think they were around fifteen pound. I think with delivery, um, which isn't really bad for three sets of wax melts. Um, you only need to burn one cube at a time, which is cool. Um, and I just took some pictures of them. I took a video to put on my Instagram. Cause I'm pretty bored sitting in the house, so it gives us something to do. And um, I'm dying to burn one now, though, but I'll wait till Becca comes in. But also tonight, we have been invited to a wine and cheese night hosted by Barrett, who built this house, um, round at the sales office. Don't know what it's for, but we're going to pop in and say hello after I pick Becca up. Um, it said on the invite it was something to meet the site people, which we've already met. Um, so we'll, we'll pop down and see what's what later on. But she's asked us to make dinner for tonight, which I'm going to make in a little bit. I'm going to grab some breakfast. It's 10.30 now. I'm absolutely starving. Don't know what I'm going to have, though. So I'm going to have some there's cornbread there. But can you have cornbread for breakfast? Because we made this yesterday, as you know, um, which you'll have seen in the last weekly vlog. But we hardly touched it. We had, like, a slice each. I don't know if I can get away with having cornbread for breakfast, though. So a little bit time's passed. Um, I invited me mum up for some lunch. So we just had some lunch there. And um, we popped to a garden shop because... There's been a table and chair set we wanted, and my mum and dad were going to buy it. Ta da! It's just turned up. Just got like same day delivery. So that's what it looked like when it's finished. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to start and build it now. It's a nice day. It's not going to rain. It's really cold. Um, it's too windy to sit out on it. But at least we got it built. So I have been mega busy. The table is built. The only downside is it is damaged unfortunately and um, so we went back to the shop and the a new tables coming tomorrow the chairs are fine but the table's damaged so uh, they're delivering a new one tomorrow so that's not too bad now i quickly need to get changed because we are going to that um home buyers event thing round at the sales office and the battery's going to die i've got another one charging so by the time we get back into the house should be swapped to a new battery so we're back home from the um home buyers event, Beck I just wanted to get past us there. <laughs> um, so we're back from the home, but well not a home buyers event because we've already obviously bought a home. It was like more like a catch up just to see if like we were happy with everything. Um, they put like a full fancy spread on. There was loads of different flavors of cheese. There was crackers, there was cakes, there was olives, there was crisps, they had Budweiser, Prosecco, 
red wine, white wine. They had a lot. We didn't have anything over felt kind of bad. And we're really friendly with the um, the sales manager woman. Um, we both said that we both felt quite embarrassed to just turning up, especially late. Um, so we went in. It was nice. We got we've never seen like the, the saleswoman for a while, so we got to speak to her for a little bit. We got to speak to the site manager, obviously who I speak to quite often, as you'll know from the videos. Um, and a couple of little, other little issues and a couple of updates and other things. And we got to meet people from head office and they were just asking about the home buying experience and stuff. Um, and we also come away, I'll just show you the lid because we've, we've opened them. They give us like a, um, a box of Marks and, Mark and Spencer's biscuits, which is really nice. Um, so we weren't really expecting that. So we've already cracked them open though and they're really, really good. But I've already made dinner. Becca's just making the rice there and then we can just sort of chill out and watch some TV. Becca's just reminded us we also got to meet our neighbours. You know, for the past few days I've been saying we we're a little bit worried about who's going to be moving in. But when we went in and the head office girl asked what plot we were in, and we said, and the people, there was two people sitting at like the, the table, because um, the event was in the, the show home. Two people sitting at the table and they turned out to be our neighbours. So we got to meet them, young couple. Um, who are expecting a baby in a couple of months, so they'll be nice and quiet. There'll be no loud parties or anything like that. Just a screaming baby. Just a, she's already apologised for a screaming baby as well, which obviously we said it's fine. Um, but it was nice to meet them, nice to get to speak to them, and nice to know that they are nice, friendly people. Because um, as you know, the other side we do have a little bit bother with parking and, and, and that sort of thing, which I'm going to bring up with the site manager. I didn't want to mention in front of the head office. I'm going to bring that up. I'm going to ask if they can maybe put like a couple of them bollards opposite the driveway just so nobody can park a car there because it is quite annoying and it is hard to get on and off the drive despite asking them multiple times. But anyway, dinner's cooking, eat that, time to chill out. And also, Becca has put one of our maple and whiskey wax melts on. We had a little bit of an argument trying to decide which one to put on, but we went for the Polynesian. Reason being, we want to know what it smells like in a room environment. Um, so we can get the reed diffuser, but you already want the reed diffuser, didn't you? I can smell it, smells it smells amazing. It smells really, really good. Um, so I think that is the reed diffuser we're going to get for the bedroom. Oh, so we've just sat down after a shower. Mm. have no idea what we're going to watch. And um, by the way, the living room smells amazing of the Polynesian wax melt from Maple and Whiskey. Um, you can even smell it upstairs and we've literally only you put one cube in. Yeah. Just one cube. So if you put like two, three in, well, for one, it would overfill, depending on what wax burner you've got, but one is strong enough. So we've decided we're definitely going to get that for the bedroom. But now, it's just the choice of trying to find something to watch on the mm -hmm. TV, because I don't think on a Tuesday... Monday, isn't it, today? Yeah. I'm a day ahead. Um, I don't think we've got anything to watch on a Monday. But I am going to go to bed. Becca's already in bed, hence why I'm speaking a bit quieter. Um, we started watching Eleanor Dreaming, but it was almost an hour episode. I think it was 50 minutes long. So we'll watch half of it, we'll watch the other half tomorrow. And then I watched a episode of The Office. I'm starting to watch The American Office and it is so funny. But I'm going to go to bed now, so we will see you tomorrow. Morning guys, what's up? So Becca had a cold yesterday. Guess who's woken up with one today? This guy. So as you know, a cold is what I dread the most. But last night we had 70 mile an hour winds, so the garden's an absolute mess, so I've been out to tidy it up. Um, I'd left the cardboard boxes off the table and chairs. They were all over. And the new cover that I bought for the table had blew off. So I've put it back on. I'm going to have to get like a weight or something to put on the table for while we're not using it. Just to keep it weighed down. Um, I'll have to figure something out. But now, I need some coffee. So I have come upstairs to start editing. Um, the groundwork has come to finish our patio and do the other little repairs. Um, I said that there was no rush for hours, so he's been to do other jobs and such. Um, because ours isn't like, we've already moved in, we're not gonna be sitting on the patio, so I said, you know, go do the more important stuff first and just fit us in when you can. Um, so I'm just come upstairs, Ed, because I can't really hear the TV, because he's got like a big grinder. So I'm just uploading the weekly vlog, and then I'm gonna start doing the Florida vlog. It's me auntie's birthday today, so I think she is coming up with me mom and grandma. Um, reason being, obviously, to see me auntie for her birthday, but me mum's coming because the table we got yesterday is damaged. I can't remember if I said. So they're bringing a replacement table today, so I need to take the old one down after I took his ages to put it up. And then the guy will drop the new one off and I'll give him the old one. So I need, so it needs two people, so me mum will help us with that. Um, 
and then I can give me Auntie a present and have a little cup of coffee with them. So I've done as much editing as I can for now. Um, I really need to get a computer like seat because that stool is so uncomfortable. Um, I've edited a little bit of the Florida vlog. The weekly vlog is uploaded. Actually, I've just remembered I need to make a thumbnail for that. Do that after lunch. I'm going to put some lunch in now. Um, and I was a bit bored and recently I've been on a sort of creative block because the weekly vlogs I don't do like any b-roll, I don't do anything creative, it's just like a pretty standard vlog as you know um, because they're so long, if I started doing b-roll in a weekly vlog it would be like a two hour feature movie which is no good for you watching and for me editing um, so I just made like a little montage just to put on on Twitter, just for something to do. Um, but my mum's coming soon to help us take the table down. So I'm going to grab an early lunch. Just putting the blinds right there. Going to grab an early lunch um, whilst the ground worker is on his. Also, I hate the smell of leather. So I've got the Polynesian um, wax melt burning whilst I make some lunch. Quite a lot of time has passed because it has been a bit of a whirlwind of a day. Um, I was just tidying up the house and then my mum, auntie and grandma came because it's my auntie's birthday. So I give her her gifts and I card off me and Becca. She stayed for a cup of coffee then she had to go to work. My mum and grandma stayed because the new table was coming so it needed two people to build it. So my mum stayed to help us but the guy wanted the old one taken down before he would give us the new one. So we had, he had to wait while we dismantled the new one and then put it in the back of his van. And then got the new one and we built the new one. Um, and then my dad turned up as well because he was off work. He'd been to get my mum's birthday presents because it's her birthday tomorrow. Weirdly enough, my mum and my auntie are born three years apart from each other. But my auntie's born on the 12th and my mum was born on the 13th of March. Three years apart, so that's really spooky. Um, but my dad was really nice and he got us some matching lights to match our table. Which I'm showing you the box, so we've got these. Um, and Which is a very nice gesture, really, really nice. They didn't fill the full length of the patio, so I went and bought some more, and I bought some edging for a person who said I was never ever going to be in the garden. I'm starting to get in the garden, and just want it to look nice, ready for the summer, so me and Beck can have some nice food outside and stuff. So I'm going to crack on with that, I'm going to put some old clothes on and get them in. And then it should be time to pick better up because it is 4pm. So that's the current state of the garden. Just in there is just mud for now because I need to get some... Well, the guys are going to put some gravel down for us. It's got the table like that. Looking good. They changed that yesterday. And then later on, them lights should light up with the solar. Obviously, they need to straighten up a little bit, but that'll happen once the, the gravel gets in, which is hopefully tomorrow. So a little bit time has passed. I went to pick better up. She has a bad cold and she feels terrible. Also, my beard looks awful. That's going to get you shaved tomorrow. Um, I'm not very good at cooking. Well, I am, but not the way that Becca cooks. Becca's too sick to cook, so I've ordered us a takeout pizza, just to cheer her up a little bit. Um, she was surprised with the garden, because I didn't tell her. She loves it. I've been outside in the dock to have a look how good the lights look, and they look awesome. But I'm doing that textbook thing where you're looking out the blinds for the takeout coming. But I'll just open the door, shut this one, keep the heat in, and I'll show you what the lights look outside. So I know you can't really see because it's dark. But you can just see them four or three even. But we've got eight that goes right the way across into the distance. Well guys, it's that time of night. Um, Becca's really not feeling very well. She fell asleep on the couch at about nine nine o'clock went then went to bed i've binge watched like six episodes of the office the american one so so funny and um, i'm gonna go to sleep now i have to be up early it's my mom's 50th birthday tomorrow um it's really windy outside so i'm just gonna go check that nothing's blown away in the garden off it has i'm gonna have to try and wait it down and um, so fingers crossed not so i can get myself to bed so we'll see you tomorrow morning guys what's up oh very very well not very early but it's my mum's birthday she's unfortunately at the hospital today with me grandma my grandma's getting cataracts removed on that eyes on my mum's 50th um so we're going to say her later we're going out for a meal tonight but becca has a doctor's appointment we're going there and then we're going to go have a look at buying um like a shed well not a shed but like a garden box type thing just to put stuff in because at the minute i've got like the jet wash and all my car clean and stuff in the hose in my van um which isn't ideal, so I want somewhere to store the stuff securely. So I'm going to get that and put a, put a padlock on it. Because um, the garden's like a, too much of an awkward shape for a shed. And I'm going to grab some breakfast. We're having a little bit of a tidy up and then we'll get going. So we've just come out of the range um, shop. 
to try and, because we were going to get the lockbox, they've sold out and they couldn't tell us when they were getting more in. So I'm just about to look on the B&Q website, which is like English version of, suppose, Home Depot or something like that, to see what sort of prices they look like. But we like the one at the range because it was built and you could see the quality of it and stuff. But the other shops we've been to have all been boxed, so we don't sort of know what they're like. Oh, so we are back from shopping and whatnot. We decided to get the food shopping out of the way. I'm just on the Mac, just about to do a little bit of editing. Remind me to never, ever go food shopping on a weekday. Old people are the rudest ever. Like, honestly, they must obviously do theirs all during the week. Never again. <clears throat> but as I said before, we went to the range for one of the garden storage boxes. They had sold out, obviously. Um, so I need to do a little bit of research because that one looked like a really good quality one. And um, by the way, I've got the camera resting on two lenses because I didn't really want to hold it because it hurts me arm. Um, but I'm just doing a bit of editing because my mum is at the hospital today. And then we'll be going down to hers. I need to wrap our presents. Um, well, Becca's going to do that for us. Becca's going to wrap her presents. Um, I've just wrote a card out there. Um, get this editing done. And then we're going out for some food tonight. I'm debating whether I take the camera or not. I might just record on my iPhone from the meal or take some pictures. I'm not too sure. Me, uh, me dad doesn't understand the full sort of YouTube thing. Um, but I'm editing a Magic Kingdom vlog. That'll be going up on Sunday. Tonight's Wednesday. So the weekly vlog will be going up. Um, so I'll check in with you in a little bit once get this out of the way. So I've got changed, I'm just wearing like a casual hoodie, I always seem to wear this hoodie. Um, but we're just going for like a meal in a pub. My mum's still at the hospital with my grand, she's had a cataract done. Um, so we're just getting, Becca's wrapped that present, wrapped it in like a nice bow. Got that sorted. So we're just sort of hanging on, really waiting for um, for them to get back home. And give me mum a present and go out for a meal. And also... Um, I mentioned Brovision was switching hosts, we've had a bit of bother switching it over. Um, they finally just sent a link for us to do it, so I'm going to jump back on the iMac and do that now. And then we can start recording Brovision again. So that's us all sorted, just about to go down to my mum's, Becca has the telly blasting. Um, if you can hear in the background. So we'll see you once we get back. Hey guys, so we are back home. Had a really, really nice time out for my mum's birthday. Um, she hadn't opened any presents or any cards at all because she'd been at the hospital all day with my grandma. Um, so we've got to say I opened all our presents and she got so, so much, obviously with it being a special birthday, she got a lot. She was still opening presents after like half an hour, <laughs> but then we went out for a nice little meal just at a local pub, which is uh, one of our favourite places to go, and it was really, really nice. Um, had an awesome meal, I had a combo meal which came with a burger, wings and a, and a bit of steak, which was amazing, and Becca had a southern fried steak which sounds weird, but it was really good. I had a little try of it. Um, Becca couldn't really taste it because she's got a cold still. Um, she's lying on the couch because she's not feeling very well. But now we're just going to chill out. We're going to watch Riverdale and then a few YouTube vlogs and then probably go to bed. Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. Today is my last day of my annual leave from work. So I'm trying to just have the laziest day ever. So I'm just going to stay in. Obviously, I'm waiting in for a parcel, actually. We're going out for a meal on Saturday for my mum and auntie's birthday, like joined together with the full family. Um, so I need some new jeans, so they're either coming today or tomorrow. And Becca's got an outfit coming today, so waiting in for them. Um, I'm going to grab a cup of coffee, I'm really, really tired. It's my own fault, I should have went to sleep a lot earlier with us being back to work tomorrow, but of course, I went to bed after midnight. I don't know if you can hear in the background, but I have the John Williams vinyl playing on the vinyl player in the living room. Just while I grab some coffee, I've started running low on these sachets, but they're really good, nice and quick. So I've had like a really sort of lazy morning. I watched Game of Thrones on the TV with a little bit of YouTube. I'm starting to watch the episodes to refresh my mind. I'm not watching the full season one to seven. What I'm doing is I'm watching the last two episodes of each season because those are the, are the main important ones. And then season seven, I will watch the whole of season seven, ready for season eight. And I also realized I edited the wrong Florida vlog to go live on Sunday, so I thought I was ahead and um, with the vlog. I've accidentally skipped a day, so the, the day I thought, I, well, the day I have edited is Magic Kingdom, and I was thinking, hold on, we had a movie night in the pool with Tim and Brady before that, why haven't I edited that? So I went and checked, and I've skipped a full day, so I've just had to start editing again. I'm about two hours in editing, it's half twelve in the afternoon now, I've got to put some lunch in, have a break, I've got 90% of it done, I just need to polish it up and make it look pretty. <laughs>
and I'm gonna watch TV the rest of the afternoon. So I'm having jalapeno potters for lunch. As of next week though, it's back to healthy eating. Um, we've had a bit of a blowout this week. It's my mum's birthday, so I thought, why not? Um, we're still trying to be a little bit healthy, but it hasn't worked out. But next week, going strict, we have filled the fridge with fruit, vegetables, we're having salads and couscous for lunch and stuff like that, ready to start Fit for Florida 2019. So that is another episode of Game of Thrones done. Season 5 I've just finished, the last two episodes, the one with Jon Snow, I'm not going to say anything in case you've, you've watched it, I've already been told off before for, for saying spoilers, but I'm going to jump back on the computer now and finish and edit the vlog and it's uploaded and I can just sort of forget about it and then do the week after because that's already edited so I just need to make two thumbnails and click upload to YouTube. I don't know what it is about this week but I just keep forgetting to pick the camera up. Um, don't know why, might be the fact that I've just sat in and done literally nothing. But we have goo desserts that me mum got us the other day. So since the healthy eating starts out next week, I've got to get rid of them. So I'm going to have one of them now. So I'm going to go to bed. I I'm tired but I'm not. And I know like this afternoon I was sitting falling asleep watching TV at like 2pm. But if I go to bed now, It'll take me one, two hours to get to sleep, which is just crazy. Like, I can never go to sleep when I go to bed. Becca's already fallen asleep at times, being a bit quiet. Um, she's really not well still. I am going to go to bed and try and get some sleep because that is the end of my week off. Back at work. And I've been looking through the clips of this vlog. And I have realised that I haven't recorded a great deal this week. And... I'm quite disappointed in some of the quality of the clips. I haven't really told a story, which is what I like to tell. It just feels like a bunch of random clips. Um, so next week's vlogs, I'm going to try and record more, more of a story. It's just hard because sometimes I feel like I'm either recording far too much for a weekly vlog or not too much for a weekly vlog. So it's trying to find that balance because again, I am used to doing a one day vlog and making it into like a 10 minute sort of thing. But I can't make a 10 minute vlog every day into a weekly vlog um, because it would be 70 minutes long. That's far too long. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. See you tomorrow night. Hey guys, what's up? Happy Friday. Just got home from work. Just had a quick shower. Guess it was called Becca's Cold. This guy. Becca's laughing at us there, but I've caught it, but I knew I was going to. Um, <clears throat> been waiting in the post. I can't remember if I mentioned it in the vlog but I managed to nab an ultra limited run of Halloween 2018 vinyl and um, it's a special edition made by one record company and it's like a picture disc that looks like like a puddle of blood um, and it's got cool artwork and you get a huge poster of Michael Myers with it as well so I'm going to spin the camera around and give you a look so there we have it that's the cover how cool is that and they're actual cutouts as well um, so it's John Carpenter Halloween, oh, and it includes a digital download as well. Limited edition blood puddle vinyl. So I'll open it and I'll show you what's inside. So this is the actual vinyl sleeve, and it's a silhouette of Laurie Strode, obviously 2018. And that's what it's like without it. That must be the, the digital download, yep. And then also this poster, once I fold it out, is huge. So that is how big it is. So that's like a, a box of cold and flu tablets. That's the size of the poster, also compared to the 12 inch. So fold it up into squares, it's one, two, three, four. It's five 12 inch vinyl sizes big. So I might have to get that framed. So obviously I can't play it too long because it's copyrighted music, but this is my favorite song, or tr score even, from the 2018 movie. How cool is that vinyl look spinning? So it's 9.30 on a Friday night, we're both going to bed. Becca's still really poorly, I'm starting to feel ill, feel rotten, so I'm just going to try and get as much sleep as I can. I didn't really sleep very well last night, but I only started feeling the symptoms sort of today. And I think as I've come home and sat in the heat, um, it's made us feel a lot worse. So I'm going to go try and go to bed. I have in the fridge actually some Publix cold night stuff that I can take a drink of. And hopefully that helps us get some sleep, because you always bring a little bit of that back to help with jet lag and stuff like that. We had a little bit left in the fridge. So we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning guys. Got a slight confession. It is actually Sunday. Didn't record anything yesterday. As you can tell, I've caught another cold. Caught cold off Becca. So yesterday I finished work at 4pm. And my mum had a table booked at a restaurant for 4.30. 
for her birthday, joint birthday party between me mum and me auntie. So we went out for some Italian food. Um, and then we went back to me mum's house. They were having a party. Me and Becca were on the Pepsi because um, we both don't feel well. So we stayed around two hours and then came home and we both fell asleep on the couch. So I needed a little break. So I'm really sorry about that. But I thought I would get the last day in so the vlog didn't end abruptly. Um, Gonna have some pancakes this morning. We bought some pancake mix already done, so we'll try and see what that's like. We need to pop to Tesco to grab something for lunch, and I need to print something off, so I need to go grab the printer from my mum's house. So, this is what we are cheating with this week instead of making some proper ones. How much was it? It was about 70 pence, wasn't it, Becca? Yeah, it was 70 pence. In um, Aldi, it was about 70 pence. So, for 70 pence, you can't really grumble. So, I've already shook it with the milk, uh, red velvet flavour. And I doubt that's what they'll look like, but we can only try. So Becca knows I'm really bad for like collecting cups and stuff like that. Look at this awesome Stranger Things cup she bought me yesterday. It's Bob. And it's the same on the other side. Hawkins Police Department, Indiana. Never forget Bob. Contact Hawkins Police if you have any information. So there's one in the pan. That one didn't look like it's worked as well. Um, it seems burnt on the outside, red on the inside. So I've tried turning the pan down to see if it makes it be better. So mid times passed, we went to the shop. We normally go to um, Tesco or Asda or Aldi, but today we tried Morrison's. Um, had some pretty pretty cool stuff in. Got some stuff for lunch and lunch tomorrow because we are back at work. But we are starting to fit for Florida. A mouthful to see what you've got a cold. Fit for Florida, so all the junk foods going in the house. Healthy stuff only. And let us show you what Becca has made for our lunches tomorrow. So Becca, well we've both got couscous but there's some differences. We've both got Cajun chicken, Becca's got cucumber and bits of pomegranate in. And I've got um, bits of mango, so it's a chicken and mango couscous. And that looks so good. And also for lunch, I have two burgers with Monterey Jack cheese. Cannot wait to try them. So we are having like a really, really lazy afternoon. I actually feel a little bit better. I don't know if it's the tablets. Because um, I'm taking some strong like cold and flu tablets, but anyway We both start falling asleep on the couch, but We are watching this new documentary on um, Netflix. It's the Madeline disappearance of Madeline McCann Not going to talk about my thoughts on on here and um, probably not really appropriate, but really interesting documentary We're up to episode four, I think and um, just come to get a quick drink and then we're going to watch another another episode we're going to watch a movie called Hellfest, um, but I'll probably fall asleep. So we're going to watch that before it goes off the Virgin um, TV to rent. So it looks very good. It's sort of like Halloween Horror Nights. But me and Becca were just sort of working out if um, if it would be worth us getting the Odeon Limitless card. Um, we were thinking about it before, but what we've done is we've added up every movie that we want to see this year times by how much the ticket costs. And it works out around £50 cheaper, roughly, to go see, to get the Odeon Limitless card across the year than it does. You know, we can go see films again, and if we're just out, or just in the house board, we can just look on Odeon. If it's a film, even if it's a film that we wouldn't normally pay to go see, because we think, mm, don't really want to pay £15 in case it's not very good, just go see it so something that we're going to be thinking about so leave us a comment down below if you've got the audience card um interested to hear your thoughts i know somebody's message it be mentioned it before in the comments um but the the more opinions i've got the, the more decisive i'll be so i think we're up to like episode five of the Madeline, madeline mccann um series gonna go to bed now back at work tomorrow i'm gonna try and get a bit more sleep didn't sleep very good last night so thanks for watching weekly vlog number 10, as usual, comment if you got to the end, hope you enjoyed it, I felt this week was a sort of, a sort of failure, it wasn't a great vlog from my point of view, it was a lot of just clips, but I didn't really do a lot, and plus not recording Saturday as well, so I'll make it up there in a future vlog, so thanks for watching guys, remember please leave a thumbs up, and we'll see you next week, and remember, stay tuned.